Jesus lesson St. Matthew chapter 8 verse 8 The centurion answered and said Lord I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed God with man The Father is now on earth this is not the time to allow ourselves to be fooled by necromancers or witch doctors that demand from you goats, goats, drinks, yams, and other items. Once you believe in the Father and obey His voice, He will solve all your problems. The Father made it clear that death Sickness, famine, war, and all adversities, and uh, and all adversities shall cease at the fullness of time. This is the good news of great joy that I have for the whole world. There are many here who, for twenty years or more, have neither gone to the hospital for medical checkup nor taking any form of medication, faithlessness and disobedience. Your problems are traceable to faithlessness and disobedience. This is not the time for any person to continue to be angry, to quarrel with his fellow man, to blaspheme God's name or continue to disbelieve God. You should believe and be saved. The world mount vigorous campaigns of calumny against Brother of the Cross and Star because of their selfish, greed, corrupt nature, falsehood and disobedience. In their desperate search for food, for money and other material needs, they go all out to paint bad picture of brotherhood and misinform the public about the work of this of the kingdom but they have all failed because god is here with man after the last messenger who was is begotten the father decided to come in the beginning was the word and everything came into being through it he has come to save you and requires nothing not even a stick of candle from you. You should apply this word wherever you are and it will work wonders for you. Let all your hopes, beliefs and love be in God. He is the only Savior. He has come to eradicate fear, doubts, selfishness and all evil tendencies. Whatever your problem may be, call upon his name with thanks and he will answer you. There is nothing a man can do for you. This is indeed a lucky generation. Your concern should be to thank God at all times. His presence is not only felt in Nigeria, Africa or in the physical plane of manifest alone. He is, all, he is in all the planes of manifest. He is a holy being and we have to be as holy as he is. I do not exist. I am not God. I have no power and I am not a spirit. I am only bearing witness about the truth and the presence of the Father with man. There is no more war no more division and no problem at all his grace is sufficient to all of us nobody or juju in the entire world has the wisdom or power to do anything the father alone is responsible for everything why do you consult a necromancer a juju priest a physician or psychologist the only person you have to consult is God. Surrender yourself completely to Him. We are God's implements and messengers 
including the angels. It is therefore necessary that we should glorify him and praise his name. Listen to him always, for he speaks inside your heart. Even our lots would be accepted. Our Lord Jesus Christ said that prostitutes would get into the kingdom of God before you. Who are the prostitutes? These are unbelievers, necromancers, revilers, infidels and sinners generally. He is your father and you have to believe in him alone. He is not the God of Abram or Jacob or Isaac alone. Not even the God of Ulumba alone. But the Lord of hosts. He is God of all. Live therefore and let others live. We are created in his image to serve him. This is why I do not relent to preach and testify over his goodness and truth. He is gradually getting rid of corruption and evil from the world. Do not doubt this gospel. If the type of work done in Cross River State had been done in Sodom and Gomorrah, the people would have repented. If the nature of work done in Aqua Ibom State, Nigeria, and the entire world today had been done in Sodom and Gomorrah, the people would have repented and would not have perished. The Father has come into the world in a big way to rule and reign. What is left now is to cause man to believe in God and not in juju or fetish. Science has failed. Academic knowledge has also failed. And everything hitherto upheld by men has failed. This, that is so because the Father has come to render these things useless. The, supreme, the supremacy of the Father alone prevails. The secret societies are now losing their members daily because of their powerlessness and falsehood. That is why they go out to entice people to join in their campaign of calumny against brotherhood. These persons and groups continue to wage war against brotherhood because they are infidels. We believe in him and praise his name because of our faith in him and as a fulfillment of his promise. We are not worthy in any way to enjoy this privilege but for his grace. It is not Olumba who is doing the works in this kingdom, but the Father. God, God's promise is fulfilled in this generation and shall continue till eternity. He has come to wash us clean and be worthy of him. The wisdom of God confound man's wisdom. Many wonders shall happen that will continue to beat human imagination. There will be no more pain or sorrow. Women shall no more experience pain during labor. There shall be great joy at that time. Do not preach to people to leave their churches for years, but preach this truth to them and ask everybody to repent. God cares for us all and none of his children shall perish. Here we have the second lesson read again. Second lesson, St. Matthew chapter 12 verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words Thou shalt be condemned. The reign of peace. It is written, So then 
it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that show it mercy. Romans 9 verse 16. Therefore, this is not the time for our people to cause trouble. Not here and there and kill others. Why do you have to kill people and ill-treat Ill others just because you are in uniform? Is that what God has asked you to do? God gives life. He heals and He sustains and cares. That is why we have to we that is why we have no problem in Brothers of Christ and Star. Whereas in the world, nations and individuals have become so bankrupt, hungry and helpless. In brotherhood, it is only joy that reigns supreme. He has warned that if you are told that he is in the room or in the desert, do not go. For as the lightning flashes across from one part of the sky, to the other, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. When the people ask him where to locate him, he told them that where the carcass is, there also will the eagles gather. All along, man has been striving to help himself. Has he been able to do so? As the scripture not said that any man that seeks to save his life shall lose it? Human beings have from the beginning of time been consulting oracles, taking drugs, and indulging in idolatry generally. People spend so much money to buy and maintain the cars they drive, houses they live in, the food they eat, the bed they sleep on, the clothes they put on, and so on. What a folly. People spend so much money to buy and maintain the cars they drive. People create class for themselves and deride others. Such people use their money and positions to cheat, oppress, and even kill the less privileged. These persons find it very difficult to believe that the leader of brotherhood moves about freely in modest in every sense of it and he is humble. The greatest task before brotherhood of the cross and star is to make people believe in God and forsake fetish and idol worship in the government, in the commercial houses and the various institutions. It is God who controls their affairs. This is not the time to deceive and cohere. This is not the time to deceive and coerce people with money into politics. There is none who is as rich in human power and material resources as God. No more military coup in Nigeria. The Father had decreed that there would be no more coup attempt in Nigeria. Ever since the Father made the pronouncement, all coup attempts had been abortive and those involved crushed. The soldiers themselves are marching back to their barracks once and for all and never to rule Nigeria again. Students and other persons go on strikes and riot all over the place destroying property that had caused this country a fortune to put up. Is that not foolishness? Watch and see the events that will unfold themselves from now. We are only living witness to the truth. 
God had arranged everything in their proper order and time. Wait for time. Do not walk ahead of time. Allow the will of God and his time to manifest according to his plan. No person can rush or delay God into implementing his plan for the world. This wish this wish of an ordinary human being to become the president of a country or occupy any office is dependent upon God's will. Also, the burning desire of an incumbent president to remain in power for life cannot materialize except the Father signs it. This is not the time for rulers to force themselves on, on the people. God is the real owner of the presidency in which two men or groups are struggling for. Can you see the work of greed? If God does not make one a president, none can be. It is necessary that you should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added to you. Surrender yourself completely to him and follow him, and then he will reward you abundantly. Except the Father does something, no man can do it. God, go and tell the world to remain calm and be obedient to God and watch him unfold his divine plans in this generation. God has brought love, joy, peace, truth, glory, and all the good things. Wherever God has kept you, remain there. All along, man has been resisting the will of God. In Nigeria today, there are 36 states as against one governor general who ruled over the whole nation, three independent. Later, there were three governors that ruled over the then three regions of North, East and West. But now, many clans and families crave for their own states, the proliferation of states and local government areas as a result of greed has torn Nigeria apart, a nation once known as united and strong. The story of local government council is even more pitiable. There is corruption and looting of the treasures in all the three tiers of government thus leaving the public more hungry, sick, and homeless. What will the world stand to lose if the whole world becomes one? One government, one administration, one economy, and one currency. Nigeria, and indeed Africa, are so richly blessed by God. But the administrators of those resources Squander and destroy them. The whole world is equally abundantly blessed. There is maladministration and misappropriation of funds and resources all over the world. The world could be compared to two thieves who struggle for the property of a person who watches them do the struggling. God indeed so loved the world that he does not desire that any should perish. Let us receive him and submit ourselves to him. What is the situation of the various nations of the world that had been conducting elections? Have they profited from such exercise? Has America been able to impose democracy on the entire world? That should tell the world that man proposes 
but God disposes. There is no man on earth who is capable of ruling. That is so because all are blind, deaf, foolish, and heartless. God has come to put his righteous, truthful, and obedient children into position of authority in the world. That is the only time there shall be peace, for at that time it shall be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Go and preach this gospel to the foolish people of the world. When the children of Israel left Egypt to Canaan, it was God who ruled them through Samuel. The, house, the horse belonging to Saul's father got missing and it took the servant three days to search for it. Samuel was at the time the prophet, a representative of God. Before then, kingship was exclusively for the obtained, for the ordained prophets of God and not by ballots, which is subject to human machination. This explains why governance has slipped into the hands of thieves, idolaters, and swindlers. As Saul and his father's servant continued to search for the horse, it dawned on the servant that they should consult Prophet Samuel to direct them to where they could locate the horse. It was believed then that the prophets of God had solutions to every problem, and that was true. But Saul complained that he had nothing on him with which to consult the prophet. It was customary then that before one could consult a prophet, anything in the form of gift must be presented to him. The servant then told Saul that he had some money on him. With that, they contacted Prophet Samuel, who, through God's inspiration, directed them to the whereabouts of the lost calf. Samuel did not only end there, but also revealed to them that Saul would be crowned the first king of Israel. You would realize that the horse got lost so as to lead Samuel to come into contact with prophets. You would realize that the horse got lost so as to lead Saul to come into contact with Prophet Samuel. Samuel then asked them to go home after feeding them and promised that he would join them to explain things to the Israelites. Prophet Samuel kept his words and went to the Israelites and explained to them the decision of God that Saul should be their king. That was how Saul became a king, and that is how God works in a miraculous way. You cannot rise to any position except God gives such to you. That is why it is said in the scriptures that except the Lord build the house, they that labor, they labor in vain that built it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Psalm 127 verse 1 It is the responsibility of the Father to install the right candidate of his choice. May we have the golden text read. Golden text, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Christ, the way, and the truth. 
we all have to follow him sleepishly so that his peace and blessing may abound with us. Christ is the way, the life, and the truth. He is the only person who will lead us to God. There is no upright person, no court, no church or, organ or organization in the world. All the high sounding names which people answer to, both in government and religious circles, are designed to enhance cheating and robbery. All the presidents, governors, prime ministers, legislators, council chairmen, among others, are thieves. God has come to take over the rulership of the world in this generation. It is the period of changeover. He has come to strengthen things and to use only the upright and just persons. Men have been stealing, killing, cheating, and living generally abominable lives. None of these vices profits men. The only solution, therefore, is for us to go to God on bended knees. People spend money on fetish and idolatry so as to keep their work, to keep their lives, to do one thing or another, yet peace and prosperity continue to elude them. The nations and people of the world have now become so bankrupt and variously afflicted. God has come now by himself to give us rest. Like the prodigal son, we should all go back to God remorsefully. Life is no longer worth living in the world today and people are living in fear. The rulership of the Holy Spirit brings peace, joy and prosperity. No government run by man will ever work well. In God's case, there will be one government under one rulership and one people. We are all one. Live and let others live is the golden rule. Beloved, I shall not take you further. It is said that a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.